What's going on? What's happening, people? It's your boy, KD. Let's get right into the video. So today is Monday. It's Monday night. Mondays are going to be dedicated to money, finances, and business. Uh, today is the first money video. So what we're going to talk about today is your savings. All right, fellas, your savings. Now, I'm going to make this video quick. I know you guys got a lot of, uh, got a short attention span. You guys only like videos when I talk about women and stuff like that. So I'm going to make this video short, but it's going to be very effective for you if you pay attention to this, uh, this quick little tip. All right. Now, um, earlier in my life, when I was younger, I didn't really take this serious, this part of life serious. Well, I've always been serious about my money, but as far as having a savings account and having money put aside for uh, either emergencies or business or just things, man, in general, uh, I never really took this serious when I was younger. But as I got older, I started to realize the importance of having a savings account and or putting money aside for the future. All right, this, uh, I'm going to give you all one big reason today. Like I said, I'm going to keep this quick, but I'm going to give you one big reason why you need to have a savings account. All right, you know how they say you need to save for a rainy day? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's 100% true. Now, not necessarily literally a rainy day. You know, you don't need money on a rainy day. What that rainy day means is you never know what's going to happen. All right, life is full of ups and downs. Life is full of inconveniences. Life is full of unexpected things. So you never know what's gonna happen. So even though, man, you may be making a lot of money, you may be balling out right now, and wherever you at, you probably making six figures. You probably in the millions already. But no matter what income level you on, or no matter how much money you making, having a savings is for everybody, every man. Now, I'm not talking to women. Women, too, you guys should definitely put money aside, too, if any women are watching this. But as a man, you should always have money put aside for a few reasons. Maybe you want to start a business one day or maybe uh, you want to invest into something, but you should always have money put aside. You know, some people may say you want to have at least like three months of, you know, your living expenses put aside. Some people say six months. Uh, I would dare to say you want to have a year at least a year put aside of money that you have saved up. And as a, as a, like I said, there's a few reasons why, you know, you never know, you probably be working a great job right now, you know, making $500,000 a year, but you never know when you're going to lose that job or you never know when you're going to get sick and you can't work anymore for a long time and you got to find something else to do. Maybe you got to start your own business or something like that. If you're spending all your money and you don't have money put aside, you going to be in a bad spot, man, 100%, all right, 100%. So you always want to make sure you have money put aside. So there's ways you can do this, obviously. You know, like if you already live in check to check and you're being real frugal right now, you're not wasting your money on stuff, then, you know, you're going to have to find another stream of income to be able to put money aside or you just need to get better at whatever you do if, you know, the potential for that income can can raise over time if you get better. But um, if you're making enough money and you're not living check to check, but you still don't have money saved up, that's a problem. So you need to start putting money aside. One great way to do this is to stop wasting your money on foolishness. You know, stop wasting your money on women. Stop wasting your money on shoes and clothes and, and stuff like that. A lot of guys make great money but they still live in check to check and there's no reason for that. You should always have money put aside. I've been through enough in life to know that you should always have money put aside. Okay. I used to like, I used to, I mean, I always keep money put aside, but I used to always have like in the past, I used to always have like just a month's worth of income put aside. You know, let's say you get in a situation, a financial situation, a financial bond, bind to where you can't work for a year. Let's say you get into a situation and you wake up one day and you don't want to work for a year. You can do that when you got money put aside. You can't make these choices or you can't maneuver around in life like this if you don't have money put aside. You have to save your money. Fellas, you have to save your money. All right. Like, especially when you're young, man, that's the best time to do it, because when you get older, the opportunity, I mean, depending on what you do, but as you get older, your opportunity and your, your energy, it decreases, you know, so you have less chances and less opportunities to be, a, be able to make money. So if you young, let's say you under, you know, I, I say for men under 40 years old is, is young still, 
you know, if you're young and you're in the first half of your life, you should definitely be putting money aside, man. You know, like I know y'all see these old dudes who be riding around in Porsches and, you know, Lamborghinis and Ferraris and they don't work. He just enjoying their life. The reason why they did, they're able to do that is because when they were younger in their working years, when they had energy and strength to work, they were putting money aside because they knew one day they weren't going to be able to work like they working or that like they were working. So they put money aside the smart way. And, you know, I'm not saying that you should put all your money in your savings account. All right. That's a that's a bad move because you don't make a lot of uh, uh, interest or money or however it works in your savings account. Now, me, um, as a lot of you guys know, uh, I'm Muslim, so I don't really do the interest thing. But, you know, you could put your money in investments. You could put your money in crypto. You know, you could put your money in different type of uh, funds and and things like that. Go get an IUL. You know, I know a lot of y'all don't know what that is, you know, but you can go get, you know, some type of way where you can build your wealth because you put money aside. A lot of people be talking about investing. You don't have money put aside. You can't invest. You can't invest without money. So putting money aside is one of the smartest things you can do financial wise. OK, fellas. And like I said, I'm going to make this quick. Like I said, I know you guys. All y'all want to do is talk about women and how to get women and how to get chicks and all this stuff. So I'm going to cut it real short. I know you guys got the attention span of a worm these days. So I'm going to keep it sweet. I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to just tell you right now. Get some savings. Save your money. Stop wasting your money on females. When you go out with chicks, especially if it ain't your main girl, man, don't be going to all these extravagant dates and, you know, y'all want to travel all the time and all this stuff, bro, and you, you live in check to check. That don't make sense. I don't think a man should be focused on traveling and having fun if he's still living check to check. Like, I know dudes who killing it, man, who making 10, 20 million a year and they in their grind mode and they put money aside and they don't they don't travel at all because they got that grind mindset. They know, you know, when they do travel, they want to be able to travel for months at a time so, and they ain't got to worry about the bill. They're not even looking at the bill when it come. That's the position that you want to be in when you sleep better at night. When you got money in your savings, let's say you got a year's worth of money in your savings, bro. Oh my God, you're going to sleep good at night because you know no matter what happens, if something traumatic happens for a year, if like another COVID, you know, pandemic or something like that comes, you're going to be good. I know a lot of guys who was put out of their job. Like fortunately myself, I didn't have to stop working during COVID, but I know a lot of guys who got kicked out their jobs or who got laid off or who jobs got postponed because of COVID. And because they didn't have savings, they didn't have a way to make income because their job wasn't still paying them like some jobs were. All right, fellas, so you have to have to save your money no matter what, 100 percent. Sometimes it's going to be hard. Sometimes it's going to be very tempting to spend your money, especially when you got it sitting there in account. You got to be disciplined. Save your money. Put your money aside. All right, fellas. All right, man, that's it. Like I said, all right, yeah, Wednesday, we're going to talk about women again. All right, fellas, so don't worry about it. I'm going to come back with another female video. We're going to talk about it again. God, man, you guys, oh, man, y'all always want to talk about women. Man, look, if you ain't got money put aside, you shouldn't even be worried about women, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you shouldn't even be worried about chicks. All right, you don't, you don't got the funds to even deal with chicks, you feel me? So anyway, fellas, put your money aside, save your money, get a year's worth of income, put aside. It's your boy KD. Thanks for watching. Make sure y'all like the video. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Thanks for the support. We out of here.